Well, back to the 99TJ. This is, uh, well, not nighttime, but day five. Uh, day four, or night four, didn't have the camera with me, left it at home, but uh, got quite a bit done, as you can see. The new fenders are mounted and uh, the wheels and tires installed. Um, the bumpers were uh, painted and the bumper ends were treated with the heat treatment. But that was, uh, that was a few nights ago and um, everything's covered with pollen from sitting outside so it was cleaned up. The fender flares the uh, the treatment was just uh, clean up with a Prepsol, really good cleanup, and then sprayed them all with three coats of um, satin black paint for plastic. I've done the heat treatment on the fender flares before, like I do on the bumper ends, but if there's any imperfection on the surface, it shows through, and it's very tough to get an even even color on the fender flares and uh, they get very streaky tried a few different methods heat gun torch whatever but uh, this Krylon plastic paint satin black did it on my son's Jeep a year ago it's still holding up great and uh, if it doesn't to tape off those flares and give them a quick spray is not a big deal if you have to do it every few years but it does give it a nice even coat nice color so we got the Outlaw 2 wheels on there, some new uh, the 265, 70, 16 tires. The top still has to be cleaned up, but uh, we got the body all buffed. Waxed the whole body, just threw a spare on there temporarily. So uh, yeah, it's coming out well. Externally, it's pretty much done. Got the new mirrors on there. The door handles were all stripped down, ground, ground down, primed and painted. There's a little surface rust on those. Not thrilled about the color match on the front fenders. These Chrysler colors are very tough to match. The, the code gets you to a general base color, but then there are probably six variations of that. You try to match it up as much as possible. But in the right light, it looks fine. I can't complain. Everything's mounted back under the hood. Everything's ready to go there. So I know you're asking why the Jeep's sitting so high. It's uh, only a two inch budget boost in there. Uh, that's because we uh, shed a bit of weight the other day. Transmission, transfer case, skid plate, and drive shafts are all sitting right there. Took it home on its maiden voyage, try to shake it down a bit, and um, the next morning got in to come back to work and had no reverse. So I let it warm up, still had no reverse, pushed it backwards, had drive, got out to my street, um, popped on the interstate, had no third. Wound it out to about 3,000 RPM at 45 miles per hour for about two exits and finally I was able to coax third out of it and got it back here but uh, pulled the tranny out and my transmission shop said the reverse third drum had gone bad or the seals had gone bad. So left it with him, he kept it for a week and uh, now it's back. So uh, instead of enjoying the Jeep on Memorial Day weekend Sunday morning I'll be uh, reinstalling the transmission and we'll take it out on another shakedown run and see what happens. So that's where we're at. Get the transmission in this morning. Get all the fluids filled back up. Maybe throw a little soap and water on it and get it out on the road and see how it performs. <laughs> 